Hello, this is Dustin with Home Mender, and today we're going to show you how to build a screen for a window at home. Maybe the frame is completely gone and you're getting birds and bees and all kinds of stuff in your windows. I love screens. In our part of the country, we have a lot of weird bugs, so screens are definitely essential in the spring and the fall. Let's get to it. Building and installing new screens is fairly easy. All we need is a hacksaw, tape measure, screen roller, and a razor blade. You're also going to want to measure your window from the outside so the screen fits right in the inside track. So have your window measurements ready. Our measurements for our screen opening are 24 by 28. That's how big we need our frame size. When buying the track, make sure you get the spline and these screen corners. Very important if you want it to be in the shape of a square. Let's get our first piece measured out. You're going to take your screen corner and you're going to stick it in the edge of the frame. Next, we're going to measure it out with the screen corner on there and we're going to mark it at our 28. There's how big we want our frame. Next, take another screen corner and lay the outer edge right on your mark like so and then mark your track to allow for the corner. That's where our cut line is. Now take your hacksaw and cut the track. Fit your corner in 28 inches long with the corners. Next, we want our other side to be 24. We're going to take what's left over from our screen track, put the corner in there, like so. And we're going to repeat the steps with the corner for the 24 inch side. We want it to be exactly 24. We're marking our 24. Now don't forget this step. Lay our corner up on it so we can get an accurate mark. Mark should be at the outside edge, just like the first time, and cut the track. Now let's check our measurements with the corners on. We got a 24, 28, right on the money. Now that we know our frame sides are right, we can duplicate these two. We we'll pull the corners off, and then we're going to mark these measurements on our full stick. Now we've got all four sides right, let's lay out the screen. Screen bead should go to the inside. Now put your corners on. Framed up and ready to go. Next we're going to take our roll of screen, lay it out all over the frame. In case you can't see, the screen bead should be up. Roll the screen over. Next we take our screen spline and we fit it in. Leave the spline ahead of you. With our trusty screen roller, we roll the screen. Now make sure we wrap that corner really well and get it tucked all. Don't worry about the wrinkles, they'll come out. But tuck that in really well, like so. Wrap the corner. Now you don't want to stretch this screen too tight. You just want to kind of float it over top of it, otherwise it's going to bow your screen. Let's do our last side. Wrap the corner and roll them out. Here's where we need to be delicate. Get out your razor blade or a knife if you wish. I find you can be a little more strategic with the blade. Nip the screen spline. Now we're going to take our razor blade and we're going to run it to the outside of the screen bead. Making sure your screen is tight and the screen bead is secured. Make sure you don't pull on these. Go ahead and get a hole cut through them otherwise it's going to unravel your screen. Very gentle, gentle, gentle on these. There we go. Get that out of the way. Let's do our other two sides. And there you have it. Awesome screen. It's not all bowy. And this will keep out any bug. So for Home Ender Inc., this is Dustin. Click subscribe if you learned something. And thanks for watching.